Okay, I just want to ask. Katos. Astromania is my YouTube channel. Okay. And I'm from? Like, I live in New Jersey, but, oh, okay, uh, okay. but I am live streaming from the beginning of the... Uh, oh, okay. It's in Spanish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you're from Barcelona. Oh, you're Barcelona? So, yeah. Okay, I got have the inventor of the uh, remote selector for cameras and so on over there, yeah. Ah, okay. Yeah. Are you uh, working with any company? Well, uh, yeah, we're, we're building a... Uh, Right now, a 20 inch for a uh, for plane wave. Ah, plane wave. Yeah. Yeah. Here we go. It's an uh, you know I we specialize in imaging trains with you know robotic movements of you know we can switch cameras, optics, whichever. Uh, can I can I show that in my YouTube channel? Yeah, there we go. Have some people looking at. Yeah. Maybe they are interested to buy it. Yeah. This is uh, this is for a 20 inch. This is an um, IRF-90 mm -hmm. uh, focuser, this is about this big, mm -hmm. yeah, and that's a Moravian C4-1600, this is like, like $15,000 yeah. camera, and uh, yeah, this is designed to, uh, this, you know, uh, it, is, it is truly par focal, mm -hmm. but no one has perfect 2020 eyesight, so we have set up this part here for the customer in which once once it focuses first first day with the camera mm -hmm. you will rotate it and look through the eyepiece and then just adjust the helical for his own eyesight so it will be totally truly par focal oh, okay, okay. Great, yeah? great. because no one has 20 20 uh, yes eyesight. no uh, one, no one has. so you can do mathematical par focal um, um i if the rest of the people like my i don't like to look at through the telescope with my glasses. I have my yeah. yeah, yeah. And it's too difficult to use, uh, so I prefer, prefer to remove the glasses and refocus yeah. there. Yeah. Yeah. Come to uh, our booth. To, are you going to be here tomorrow? Uh, no, I cannot well, come you, tomorrow. Let's come. Let's go now. I'll show you the live in, in motion. Uh, I mean, movement. Again, this is Riva Barcelona. <laughs> you are Barcelona. <laughs> <laughs> What's your name, by the way? Isbel. Isbel? Yeah. 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 Now, Alvaro, but in, yeah, here in America. Alvaro is difficult, so Al. Yes, Al. Al. Encantado con nosotros. Un placer, ¿no? So this is our, what, seven editions here already. Uh -huh. Our systems, they've, they've been working in Europe for some years now. Mm -hmm. Our customers now, because we've done the fully remote system, robotic systems are used by universities, advanced uh, imagers, Especially, you know, with uh, remote uh, telescopes, remote you know, telescope. they, are, they, they live in a certain city and they have the, their telescope, you know, yes. thousand miles away. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so they, you know, since they can place any kind of camera, uh, they can do lunar, they can do planetary, they can do DSO, just one click. Okay. Uh, oh, I already you know, saw it. Yes, I already saw it. Yeah, yeah. Hello. So, let me go in here. So, like I said, most of our systems in Europe they go for universities because the professor, you know, for astronomy classes, the professors they don't have a telescope downtime. You know, when they finish one class using one one device, they just plug it to the next instrument, you know, and and the class is ready. They don't have to. They, they don't need a the technician at the observatory take oh, everything, take take everything out, out yeah. put a new one in and you know and then miss one hour of class. Yes. Yeah? yeah. That's great. That's great. So here it is. That's our data sheet. Yeah. You we we built super quality. Yeah. I'm thinking in the future to like buy a, a tilting? A piece of, no a piece of line land um yeah? uh, build because I live here in New Jersey so yeah. a lot of light pollution, very close to New York City. So I am thinking in the future to buy a piece of land, maybe in you know desert, yeah, Arizona, or something like that, and that is going to be very. Yeah, very this good, customer, yes. uh, he lives in Chicago, and his telescope is in New Mexico. Yeah. So uh, you know that was one of the first customers here in the U.S. And he does robotic uh, works. To Nina, mm -hmm. he, he, he will have, you know, for maybe some part of the night doing the imaging with one camera automatically and uh, man. And then Nina software will change to a new camera and do more work, you know, in robotic mode. That's great. That's yeah. great. Yeah. 
but like I said, you know, uh, our, I, I think the best solution is, you know, is this, you know, a lunar, uh, planetary, a DSL, sky, uh, yeah, the visual. sky and the visual, and only visual. one. Yeah, yeah. You know, only one. That's the thing is, you have that uh, remote, you don't, you don't like. Yeah, I mean, you you need visual. Yeah, but, but, so you but, can use but that I think 80 percent of the uh, observatory telescopes are uh, in yeah. the yeah, they're in, in the yard, uh, in the yard. It's so much, yeah. someone, somebody's home. You know? yes, Even yeah. though it's this remote, yeah, yeah. it's like only like 50, you know, 100 yeah, feet from the house. Yeah, yeah. somebody, um, somebody yeah. had to be had to take care of the yeah. observatory. Even. Yeah, yeah. I was looking some people that sell like a land, and they have some technician that. They Take have, care. yeah, they have, they, they have the remote observatory. They, you know, they are based in the UK, and the telescopes are in southern Spain. Yes, you and, and you need to pay for to somebody to take care of that. They have that. a solution, you yeah. know. They have, you know, they even rent telescopes. Yeah, you know, telescope time. Yeah. So, okay, great, great. You know. I even think in the future maybe to make my own business for that. So. I, Buy a land and put my own telescope because I like telescope astronomy and, and yes, and then but I had to have somebody there because I don't want to move. I live here, I, I job here, I don't want. I mean, I will like, but I don't want to uh, quit my job to, to yeah. go over there. So it's, but it's a nice, it's very nice. nice setup. Yeah, yeah. Solar rig. Mm -hmm. Instead of putting cameras and night pieces. Mm -hmm. Excuse me, sir. Yeah, he has placed in, you know, Epilons from Daystar. Mm -hmm. Well, they, they signed the new 43. So he does this kind of thing, remotely. Uh -huh. So he operates it from the UK and the telescope is in southern Spain. But the system is the same. same, thing. same thing. Yeah, the wheel in this case is smaller. It's only two inch ports uh -huh. and that is two and a half inch. But you can add accessories. In this case, check it out. Also for for this, this uh, one has a built-in shutter uh -huh. because it has single camera solution. Uh -huh. See, it will pop in and out. See, the yeah. shutter. Yeah. Check check this out. Check inside. Yeah. Check inside. Hold on. Uh -huh. See, it will move in and out. See how it seals the gap? Yeah. yeah. Let me do it again. The black so here. this is only one camera, no? Only one uh, camera. And um, these are what filter? Yeah, these, these are solar filters. These are air from so, they start. Okay. Yeah. And, and so you have like uh, hydrogen alpha and uh, yeah, um, yeah, yeah, calcium, beta, calcium, 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 calcium so, yeah, yeah. yeah. The so these are for filters, no? For well, we can put you can put a reducer, a prime focus adapter, a couple of barrels, and then you can do things like this. Okay. Let me show you. Same product, mm -hmm. you know. Originally it was for four eyepieces, smaller diameter, mm -hmm. and then you can use the shutter that you saw working. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And in this case, we have a reducer, you know, a prime focus adapter, a couple of parlos. So with one camera, you have four different focal lengths yeah. on the same telescope. This is a customer that we have in Asia. See. Mm -hmm. So he does DSO and planetary on the same telescope. Okay. Just one click, huh? Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. good. Okay, thank you very much. Hey, take care. <laughs> Un placer conocerte. Uh, arriba Barça. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Bye, have a good day. We're going to see your, uh, your, your blog. Uh, um, it's Astromania. Astromania. Okay, Astromania. okay. did you see it? Uh, I live in New Jersey, okay. yeah, but this is a YouTube channel. YouTube channel. YouTube okay. channel. Okay, okay take, take care. care. You too. Ok, me estaba explicando acá, eh, ellos hacen estos sistemas de... Es para telescopios remotos, por supuesto, porque son bien caros, como vieron acá, cuatro eh, mil dólares, algo así. Pero es para automatizar telescopios que están... Eh, es decir, el observador está en un lugar y el telescopio está bien lejos, en un lugar oscuro. Y pueden tener en una sola rueda de estas, eh, cámaras para eh, cielo profundo, cámaras... Para planetaria, cámara si quieren lunar, especializada en lunar, como sea, visual, yo le decía que el visual no tiene mucho sentido, pero si tiene el telescopio remoto, pues eh, no tiene mucho sentido con bueno, un visual, pero él me decía que siempre hay gente que está alrededor del telescopio, aunque no sea el dueño, técnicos o quizás incluso la misma familia, algún familiar y quizás quiera observ eh, observar visualmente. Y, y se puede para poner en vez de en vez de cámaras poner diferentes filtros etcétera etcétera 
Eso es para automatizar el telescopio eh, remotamente.